Hiya. Uh, so in this video, we're going to look at an example of um, expected value using other functions, basically. So let's go back to the geometric distribution that we've been working with most of this week, uh, since in order to kind of help put that into perspective. So what's the expected value uh, for when the first six will show up when rolling a fair six out of die, right? So basically what I'm asking is, so here's the example. Um, we're basically doing the same setup. I roll a die until I get a six. How many rolls should I expect until I actually get that six? Do I get it in the first one? Probably not because like, um, I only have a one six chance. Uh, will I get it by the hundredth one? Definitely I will, pr well not definitely, but there's a really, really good chance I'll get it by the hundredth. But it's basically the same chance as 99th. So what is the expected value? Um, so let's kind of calculate this. So basically what we're doing is we want to sum, we want to find expected value of x. So here x, um, if you recall, x um, is um, the, the x roll. Um, Uh, where is, sorry, brain fart, is where we get uh, 6 for the first time. Is the roll, the roll where? Okay, so expected value, this we have a formula, right? So this is x, p of x is equal to x. Uh, and we need to do this over all x, right? So this is x goes from 1 all the way up to infinity, right? Uh, technically, we can do 0 as well here, but x, if when x is 0, this just becomes 0, and we don't have to care as much, right? Um, okay, so what is this equal to? Well, this formula we already know, right? This is just, um, what is this? This is q to the x minus 1 times p, right? So let's plug this in. So we get sum from x is equal to 1 to infinity of x q to the x minus 1 times p. And I can bring this p in front if I want. And this is basically the formula we need to solve. Um, now, how do we solve this, right? So this is something that um, is not as easy to do. Um, we'll kind of do this on the next slide. Not next slide. Oh, my God, next page. Uh, so I'll rewrite this out. Uh, and I'll actually just rewrite it with, uh, no, it's okay. 1 to infinity of x q to the x minus 1. So remember the formula we had before. We had that q to the, um, what was the formula? I guess here we can do i minus 1 i is equal to 1 to infinity. This, remember, is equal to 1 over 1 minus q, right? This was just the geometric series. Uh, but here we have an x times all this. Um, so let's kind of see what this kind of changes. So if I multiply this by x, so I multiply by i, so what do we get? So this, so let's do this. We'll do it here. i q i minus 1 i is equal to 1 to infinity. Here we get 1 times q to the 0 plus 2 times q to the 1 plus 3 times q to the 2 plus 4 times q to the 3, etc. Right. Uh, and then let's look at the normal, um, the same thing, but I'm going to multiply by q. So q times i q i minus 1. Uh, and basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find this formula. So this on the right-hand side is what? It's q to the 0 plus q to the 1 plus q to the 2 plus q to the 3, etc. So here the basic thing I have is I have these coefficients in front that are kind of screwing everything over, right? So I want to, what I want to do, and the way I got this, is I basically said, okay, if I move everything 
to the right one and I subtract, then I'll get what I want, right? So if I do one Q, if I do one Q to the one, plus two Q to the two, plus three Q to the three, etc., and I now subtract, then I'll get this formula up top. And here, if you notice, this is just the previous one multiplied by Q. So this is basically where I had this idea, right? And so if I take this first one and I subtract the second one, I get one minus Q times everything inside. Is equal to one infinity. And this is equal to one over one minus Q, right? Uh, sorry, this is equal to, so if we do a subtraction here, so I'll do this in blue so we can kind of see. So this minus this is equal to, uh, so this keeps down, so one to the Q to the zero, plus two minus one is one, so we get one times Q to the one, three minus two is one, so one times Q to the two, etc. And this part is equal to just this summation, right? Um, and so we know that we end up getting this. This is equal to this, um, which is equal to 1 over 1 minus Q. And in other words, what we end up getting, this implies that I to infinity of I Q I minus 1 is equal to 1 over 1 minus Q squared. What did I do here? I took this 1 minus Q and I multiplied to the other side. So I just uh, divided both sides by 1 minus Q. That's it. Um, so yeah, so we have this formula. And so basically what we end up getting is the expected value of X. Remember, this is equal to this. Uh, Q, X minus 1, X is equal to 0 to infinity. Um, this basically gives me, well, I guess 1, right? Because the 0 gives me nothing. This gives me P over 1 minus Q squared. Um, well, 1 minus Q squared, actually, we can, we can take this a little further. 1 minus Q is equal to P. So actually, I have P over P squared. Whoa, whoa, rewind. It's just 1 over P. That's it. So for our example, what do we get? Well, I know I'm rolling a sit, right? The probability for me is 1 sixth. Um, and that means the expected value of X is equal to 1 over 1 over 6. So that's just 6. So after 6 rolls, I, I should probably already have my first 6 which makes sense, right? So um, in the next video, we'll look at the standard deviation.